Hi Libra, this is Marishi and my channel Shaloka. Let's see, what is your situation as of now and what you need to hear from me right now? Libra's out there, someone arrived in Venus. What is it that you need to hear from me right now? Just one last time. All right, Libra's out there. What is it that you need to hear from me right now? Libra's out there. You got the, uh, I'm just going to put that back in. You got the five swords. We have the knight of pentacles, the three of cups, and the empress. Uh, the fool card. I see multiple people. Okay, there is one person who is the empress and there is a third party situation probably. Uh, yeah, uh, some of you might be, again, the third party situation could be uh, people in your house. You might be living with this person. It could be a family, uh, family member. It could be um, a triangle situation. All right, now I see a third party situation. All right. Um, it could be your sister, it could be your mother, it could be a friend of yours, whoever it is. Uh, this has to do with your house, okay, housing situation, because I see the four of wands behind. Some of you might be dealing with a queen of swords, all right, it could be a Vago or a Libran, all right, um, I'm speaking to the Libran. Some of you might be dealing with a Cancerian, all right, so I feel like this is two parties, all right, one you see as the Empress and the other you see as a third party situation okay somebody whom you're living with all right mm, uh, who has an influence over this reading or probably uh, this has nothing to do with the reading it's just something which came on the side all right uh, it seems like um, you know there is some kind of a you know battle which is going on I'm going to say battle okay battle between the titans all right, uh, because five swords, there is this petty energy, okay? Um, putting up a fight, being very defensive, not, um, you know, not being on the same page, all right? And then there is this Knight of Pentacles energy, which is the slowest moving knight in this deck, not doing anything about it, taking it slow, okay? Uh, taking it very slow, you know, watching the other person, being defensive, being very... And you know, uh, uh, there is ego, there is a kind of ego in there as well, you know, that kind of energy. This is about initiating, but then, you know, uh, there is this energy about holding on, you know, holding back, you know, with, um, you know, taking the leap, okay, heading towards the person. Okay, uh, that's about it. I, I, I don't want to say anything else. Yes, but there is this energy about. Uh, anticipation okay um, you know watching this other person I don't know you could be watching the Empress probably because uh, I don't know uh, the sense uh, from the way it looks because I feel like there is multiple people energy okay whom you're dealing with uh, and there and there is this person who's the Empress all right um, who who sticks apart from uh, the other people Okay, the other, I might be speaking to a male right now because so many women, or I might be speaking uh, to a female. All right. There could be same, uh, you know, sex uh, relationship as well. Just saying, because Queen of Swords as well. It doesn't have to be. It seems like, uh, you know, there is so much anticipation watching the other person because Hamid energy is, you know, uh, watching in the dark. This person is holding onto a lamp, you know, uh, seeking for answers, trying to understand what is going on in the other person's life, all that, all right? Because all, this, all, this, all these cards are looking towards these women. <laughs> all right. Um, there is this energy about uh taking the leap okay risking but then uh, so much anticipation so much caution you know uh, trying to understand what is going on with this person by the way that kind of energy all right going back let's have 
The first card, please. Lebensartig. Can we have the first card, please? Lebensartig. This one. Yo. That explains. The five pentacles. You know, being put out in the cold. Not being together. There is a separation. Okay? Um, not talking to... Five swords. Five pentacles, five swords. So, that whole story is a continuation. All right, uh, we are continuing with the same story, mostly, from the looks of it. So Five of Pentacles, it's not a good place to be in. You're not together anymore. There has been a separation between the two of you, okay? You are just not in contact with each other. But then, uh, Five Swords, like I said, there, there is this, um, you know, this energy about uh, being defensive, you know, stand, standing in your corner and putting up a fight. You know, that kind of energy, you know, like um, uh, there is this egoistic energy as well. Some of you might be dealing with a Taurus energy or probably an Aquarius energy. What is your next card, please? Leave this out there. We're going to Six of Wands energy and the Page of Wands energy. It seems like, um, all right. Oh, ooh, all right. Uh, page of Wands energy is a messenger energy. Six of Wands energy is, um, you know, taking things forward. Okay, it speaks about victory, success, all that. But uh, along with the page of wands, it's it's like taking, you know, um, taking things forward. Okay, uh, there is still conflict between between the two of you, so you're very cautious about how to approach this person. All right, because you want to offer them something. Okay, uh, six of wands is again a married situation. All right. Um, Someone might be offering this, uh, you know, reaching out to the other person in the hopes of, um, you know, offering a commitment, okay? Yes, Eight of Pentacles, I see this person working on this, okay? Putting in the effort, okay, um, into this whole situation, all right? How, how do I make this work? Uh, there is this energy about waiting, you know, waiting it out, um, seeing how things are, you know, um, you know, going with the other person, all that. But now I see this person with the uh, page of wands. There is this messenger energy about reaching out and checking things out. All right, with the intention of, uh, with this, uh, you know, committing. All right. Some of you might be dealing with a Leo energy or a Virgo energy. Moving on, Libra's out there. What is your next card, please? What is your next card, please? Libra's out there. This one, Seven of Cups, all right? There is so much confusion, okay? Uh, so what are you trying to correct me? Um, uh, this is what somebody wants, okay? To reach out, to make that commitment. So they, they haven't decided yet. All right, so they're trying to, um, you know, because it flipped out, I did not pull those cards. So they're in, uh, trying to show this one person is wanting to do this, wanting to reach out, wanting to take things forward, wanting to offer that commitment. But the thing is, with that seven of cups, there is this energy about being confused. Okay, um, yeah, it, it, uh, it's, um, you know, you're optimistic about this, but there is so much confusion. Okay, uh, like, you know, so, or so much is going on in your head, even with that eight of swords, it, it's like, uh, you feel stuck, you just don't know what needs to be done, okay, your head is all over the place, you just don't know what needs to be done about this, how do I fix this situation, you know, you feel stuck, you feel trapped, but, uh, you know, uh, this person is tied up, there's eight swords around her, uh, she, she has a blindfold around her eyes, but, uh, you know, she can easily take it off, take off the blind, uh, you know, um, uh, remove the ropes, everything, take off the blind floor, just, just walk away. The only thing is, they're stuck in the head, okay, there's anticipation, like, what will happen? If I reach out to this person, what will happen? How would they react? That kind of energy is uh, just making them so confused, all right? Some of you might be dealing with a scorpion or probably a Gemini. Leave it out there. What is your next card, please? Uh, 
Your next card is this one. Uh, the King of Swords. King of Swords along with the Justice energy. So you want to do things right. Okay? Uh, you're coming through as an Emperor as well. Alright? Uh, uh, some of you might be thinking, I need to do, you know, I need to fix this. I need to make things right. Alright? Because you are the Emperor. Somebody, um, you know, who looks after the Kingdom. So you, you're... Uh, energy is about being the uh, bigger person, all right? A king of swords is somebody who is very righteous, who is straightforward, who does the right thing, who is logical, who is rational, who is straightforward, all that, okay? So you feel like it is your responsibility to do the right thing, to do the, you know, uh, to make things right, okay? So, uh, justice, it's, uh, it's about serving justice. So you feel like it is you are accountable for making things right all right so you coming through as an emperor and somebody uh in a bigger uh you know in a bigger position within this if it's a relationship situation you, you you're trying to be the bigger person some of you might be um uh by experience you might be uh somebody who's more experienced or you know uh, older um uh, if it's a workplace people listen to you all that all right uh not important some of you might be dealing with another libra person or capricorn and an aquarius person or probably a taurus or an aries person moving on uh librans out there what is your next card please what is your next card please oh i'm not sure about that yeah they want me to look at both cards that's interesting all right mm. so we're going to put these together let's see six of pentacles and the lovers all right and the six of cups so it it's like somebody is in yes it makes sense all right six of pentacles is about initiating okay uh so that is what you coming through as somebody who is deciding to do things right okay you you're being the bigger person um six of pentacles you can see this person offering okay is initiating this person is offering the coins to the other person who is putting the hands up so one person is initiating there is a, there is an imbalance give and take so one person is giving the other person is taking so somebody is initiating all right and then um what are they initiating uh sorry what are they investing into this connection to getting back together because six of cups you know you, you want to get back together uh, if you look at this card up close, you can see these two people, to, uh, you know, getting getting back, okay, having that connection. Again, if you look at the lovers, um, you know, pretty much, uh, you know, being together, all right? And you feel like this, this is the connection I need to invest into. I need to get, because I, I think before everything went down, okay, before uh, you got separated, you had some good times with this person, okay? There is this um, uh, memories with this person. There could have been, uh, you know, good times with this person. And then we have the five cups. Now you, uh, there is this energy about regretting, okay? What, what you have lost, okay? Once upon a time, you had this with this person. You had this beautiful connection with this person. Um, and it was, it was great. But the thing is, you missed out on this. Now, when you are in this five pentacles, you don't have it anymore. You're not together anymore. You don't share that connection with anymore. And you are, uh, this is like crying or spilled milk. You're still focused on what, what, what you lost, that kind of energy, all right? So you're missing out on this person. You're missing out on this connection. Some of you might be dealing with a strong scorpion energy. Uh, some of you might be dealing with a Gemini or probably a Taurus energy. I'm speaking to the Libras. All right, moving on. What is your next card, please? What is your last card, please? I don't know whether that's the last card. Eight of Swords, that's not your last card though. But Magician and uh, the Six of Cups. So they want to show you, um, you've decided to manifest this. You're coming through as a Magician who is manifesting to get this person back into your life. Alright? 
Yes, but there is this element of three of cups, like third party, okay? Six of cups and the three of cups. You want this person, but then on the side you have uh, multiple people, okay? Because this is you two together, and then we have multiple people. This showed up earlier as well. The showed up earlier along with the Queen of Swords and the Empress. You, you were aiming for the Empress because this is your partner because you came out as the Emperor. Remember that? Along with the... Yeah. Uh, so it, it's like the... You, you're wanting this Empress, but then um, you want this connection with this person. You are manifesting this, but on this side, you have this multiple people as well. So I feel like this person whom you're dealing with might not be okay with it. All right? They, they are just not okay with that equation. All right? That's it. Uh, some of you might be dealing with a Gemini energy, a Scorpion energy, or probably a Cancerian energy. Can we have the last card, please? Okay. Uh, there is a um, uh, Eight of Swords. Oh, what is it? Uh, you, you feel stuck. Okay? You just... You just don't know what needs to be done. Like, okay, how do I um, reach out to this person? Because you're trying to manifest them back into your life. But how do I, you know, uh, and I see that this person is your dream. Okay, this, uh, this person is your wish fulfillment. Okay, you find so much happiness with this person. Okay, this person brings you joy. But the only problem is you don't know how to manifest them back into your life. How do I approach this person? How do I reach out to this person? That's the confusion, okay? Uh, it might be just in your head, again, okay? It might be easy to reach out to this person unless they have blocked you, all right? Uh, but it's just, um, you know, uh, you're stuck in the head, all right? Some of you might be dealing with a Gemini energy. Yes, two of wands, this is about manifesting, all right? You see a future with this person, but you don't know is there a future with this person, that kind of energy, all right? Some of you might be dealing with the Aries. Can we have the last card, please? You want me to look at... Yes, this person walked away from you. There could be a reason for them, yes. <laughs> but again, the Emperor energy and the justice in reverse. It feels like you might have done something injustice, okay? something wrong. You might have wronged them somehow. And then, Two of Pentacles and... Uh, the Knight of Cups. Since it's coming with the injustice, I feel like you, uh, you know, you might have jugg uh, juggled with what you have to offer. You might have juggled, um, you know, more than one person at the same time. What you had to offer, you gave it to them, as well as another person, and another person, and another person. So that that could be injustice. That is not okay with them. Yeah, you're a freaking player then. All right, uh, some of you might be dealing with another Libra, an Aries or a Taurus person, or probably a Capricorn, uh, the Knight of Cups, right? Um, an Aquarius or a Pisces person. Can we have the damn last card, please? I do these readings at one stretch, so if you see I'm tired, I'm sorry, Libra's, you are always the last, last reading. And I'm almost done with the readings by the time I reach yours. Maybe I'll have to shuffle shuffle the signs in between to keep you somewhere. All right. Uh, so uh, there is so much uncertainty, okay, um, uh, in the headspace, all right? Uh, not knowing, not knowing the future, not knowing what is going on, not knowing how to, uh, things will turn out. It is messing with your brain. All right, because the hangman in reverse, uh, there might have been so much time which have lapsed, uh, you know, or which has, um, which might have been wasted, like, you know, uh, uh, being in this five pentacles, like, you know, uh, things were pretty much in limbo, nothing much was happening, no contact, nothing, okay, and now you feel like, you know, I just don't know how they're going to react. You're losing your balance, okay, with this. You just don't know what to think about this, okay, because hangman and the best, you're out of, out of balance, all right? 
just because you don't know how things will turn out. Yes, if you reach out to this by a person, you don't know the outcome. And that is messing with you, okay? That is messing with um, your headspace. All right, yes, the verdict. Okay, what is their judgment going to be? Will they accept me or will they reject me? That is messing with you. All right, can we have the last card, please, Libyans? Last card, please, Libyans. This one, thank God. <laughs> and the Emperor. And <laughs> you saw me shuffling. You saw me shuffling. I'm not even joking with you. Page of Wands, the Hangman, and the Emperor. The thing with you is, you overthink this, okay? You being the emperor is still going to hang in there because it makes you so anxious to reach out to this person that you are willing to just hang in there. Put yourself in this limbo, all right? With that five pentacles, you're okay to be in the separation rather than reach out because page of wands, reach out to this person. You just think, let's, let's see, a little longer. Let's see what will happen. Maybe I'll find out something about them. You know, you know what is going on at the end. That kind of, you, you're just wanting an excuse to just hang in there and see if they will reach out. Because page of wands could be the other way around. Okay, you, you might be waiting, hoping for this person to initiate. That is that is your justification here, yeah? okay? Because I feel like you're very intimidated by this person. I'm just going to break the deck here and the two of pentacles. You're just juggling, you're just stalling this. You just don't want to do anything about it because it's almost like I would say it is scary. It is scary for you to reach out. That is why you're just weighing this weighing things out you could just trying to you know because hangman even if you're in limbo this person has a halo around his head so it's it's like trying to figure out trying to assess the situation trying to understand it's just taking a step back uh, but i feel like you were in this hangman for quite some time with this five pentacles you know you put yourself in the separation period for quite some time even if you want to make things right you know, you feel like you've got to do things right because the emperor came up earlier with the king of swords. All right. You feel like you've got to do the right thing. You need to step up. You need to initiate. You need to make things right with the justice energy, which is your energy as well with the uh, Libra energy. But the only thing is what they're showing me at the end is like you're still contemplating. You're still trying to figure out what do I do about this? Maybe it's better. It's convenient for me to just hang in there and just uh, be, uh, you know, just just hang in there and that's about it maybe they will reach out to me instead you know that's uh, that's much more um less scary you know that kind of energy that's it for now this is marishi on my channel shiloka and like i said bye bye